This film is an overview to the functionality of the Res Diary Plus iPad app. Res Diary Plus is designed to work alongside your main Res Diary system. The iPad app is an in-service tool, meaning it is streamlined and fast. To make changes to settings or access reports, you will need to log into the Res Diary desktop app. If you're using the app for the first time, there is some setup required. First, ensure that your iPad is updated to the latest iOS version. You can do this by opening iPad settings, navigating to the general tab and software update. If you don't already have the Res Diary Plus app on your device, you'll need to download it from the App Store. In the App Store, search Res Diary Plus and tap the download button. There's no additional cost for the app if you have a Res Diary account. To make sure your home restaurant is displayed when using the app for the first time, you will have to log in to the browser version of your diary to activate your username. To do this, switch over to your computer, open your browser and go to resdiary.com. Tap login on the top right, click on restaurant login and log into your system using your login details. You will need to repeat this process each time you add a new username to Res Diary Plus. You are now ready to log into the Res Diary Plus app. In the Res Diary Plus app, key functions are arranged across the top. The button in the top left opens the settings menu. Here you can navigate to other restaurants within your group, sign out and switch user, open the help pages and change basic settings. You can also navigate to other views including your waitlist and the grid view. The grid view shows all your areas and tables on one screen, so you get an overview of your whole day. The question mark opens a help mode, giving you a quick tutorial of basic functions. The team share button allows you to link up to seven iPads via Bluetooth within the venue. Even if you're not connected to the internet, they will still let you run your service. You can tap the last sync button to force a new sync with your main Res Diary system. You can change the area shown in the main window by tapping the area box and selecting an option from the pop-up. The add walk-in button lets you seat a walk-in immediately or add them to the waitlist. To do this, select the amount of covers. If adding the booking to the waitlist, then select an area. You can also set the table. Once you're happy with your choices, you can either seat them now or add them to the waitlist by tapping a quoted wait time. The booking button lets you add a future booking to the diary. To do this, select the date from the calendar, the number of covers, the time, and enter your guest details. If they have dined before, then as you enter their information, they will show underneath and you can easily click on the specific diner. If you want to set a specific table, you can select it from the table choice button in the bottom left. The main window will automatically default to the table plan view. At the bottom there is a clock icon that will show the times for the next three bookings on each table. A walk-in button that will let you quickly add a walk-in on the fly and a timeline. The app will automatically navigate to the current time. If you want to see future times, slide the timeline at the bottom along to the time that you'd like to see. To change the date shown, navigate with the arrows or tap on the date to open the calendar and select a date. To navigate back to now, hit the go to now button. The table plan view clearly shows what is currently happening in your venue. Each table has its number listed above and the amount of covers it holds in the box. The time that you have available until the next booking is shown on the table. If there is no time shown, then the table is free for the rest of the day. A seated table will show the arrival time for the next booking on that table. Tables in grey are free. Tables in red are late. Tables in green are seated and tables in lime are arriving in the future. 
Tapping on a table shows the table information. This will show all the bookings on that table for that particular day. You can tap on the individual booking to show the booking information and make changes by tapping on any of the fields. If the table is free, you'll be able to create a walk-in or make a booking. Tapping the button brings up the standard walk-in or booking process that you will fill out as seen previously. If the table is about to arrive or is seated, you'll be able to change the diner's arrival status. By tapping on the More Options button, you can cancel the booking, edit it, lock it, and unconfirm or confirm depending on the situation. You can also seat or end the booking directly from here. At the bottom right, there are four buttons. Tapping the arrow button will hide or show a menu that is split into three tabs. The next free table tab shows you the best available time for each number of covers. You can tap the required table to bring up the walk-in menu and seat a required guest. The expected arrivals tab lists all the bookings for that day, giving you basic information about your bookings. You can also edit or cancel the booking. By clicking on the small clock, you can quickly seat or partially seat, edit the booking comment or unallocate the booking. You can use the filter to only show seated tables or closed tables and you can also filter by service. The waitlist tab lets you see who is on your waitlist and gives you the ability to notify them that their table is ready via email or text message, cancel or seat the waitlist booking. If you have any questions, you can find more information about Res Diary Plus on the help desk. Or if you want to raise a ticket, take a screenshot by clicking the home and the power buttons at the same time. This will allow you to send the image to the iPad help team. Make sure to include your email address and a short description of the issue you are having.